It's a lot of fun. You know, we I don't know when we shot this, maybe a little more than a year ago. So, you know, it takes so long. And I mean, I've got kids and they're obsessed. I keep saying March 1st, March 1st, March 1st, but here we are. I can't wait. It's exciting. A new season is all they're asking for. They have to wait so long for the next one, right? And now it's here, so now they're all happy. We have a fantastic ensemble of people in front of the camera, the actors, the performers, uh, but we also have this amazing, well, John Favreau right beside me. We have this amazing, amazing group who just keep turning out between John and Dave Filoni, uh, great material. Uh, we have obviously the lore of The Mandalorian and Star Wars to work with. Uh, how can we go wrong being a part of that? I just think there's so much that John has woven into this season as a writer and producer that uh, I can't imagine fans not being just tickled with every episode. And they're so big. I mean, they, they look like movies. They really do. Movie movies in the, in the big theater, you know? So hopefully you all will have your widescreens working, your popcorn popped, your beverage of choice, and you'll be able to watch it over and over and over and over again, because we're going to keep coming every time you start it, okay? Yeah, it's, you know, these characters obviously mean something special to, to fans, and, and I think even casual fans. The, the duo of Mando and Grogu, you know, just really excites people, the father-son relationship, and just, you know, the little frog with the force and the armored Mandalorian. I mean, it's, we're really lucky that people are so passionate about it and, and support the show. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got more to give them. But you look here and you see the fans and, and they dress up and they're so enthusiastic. It's very meaningful and it gives you energy just to go back and do more, so. Yeah, I think the week to week is good because it lets people build anticipation. They talk about what they liked, what they didn't like all week long, and it, it builds in the old like serialized format that Star Wars kind of originally based on. So as you go into each week, you're, you, you're counting with your friends what you got right, what you didn't guess, and oh my gosh, I never saw that coming. So it's kind of the, I, I love that, that format. I think it works great and, and the fans enjoy it. I mean, that's the terrific thing about what John is doing is he's building a very sort of elaborate Star Wars universe that fits within all the, you know, sort of the rules and the boundaries that George has developed. And yet we're raising the bar even further. And I think one of the magics of The Mandalorian is that it really brings back the spectacle and the fun and the heart of Star Wars. I think it's going to be on multiple levels. I mean, one, we're going to see the evolution of Grogu. We're going to see Mando's relationship with Grogu. And we're going to see more of the Mandalorian culture, which is so rich. But then on top of that, the spectacle that we've created in terms of the world building and the adventures that we have is going to blow their minds. It's unbelievable. And I, I mean, it's such a contrast, too, for me between season one and now. Because season one, I came to the premiere, I knew next to nothing about what was going to happen. I hardly knew anybody else who was on the show because everything was so secretive. And now I feel like I have this whole family uh, because I've gotten to know everyone so much better and I've gotten to know some of the actors through conventions and I have just fallen in love with this world and these characters and it's such a special thing to be a part of. Yes, it has. And one of the things that I think is so phenomenal about the show is that we have fans who are just deeply in their blood, Star Wars fans, you know, from the beginning. But we also have fans who may not know anything at all about Star Wars, who are just coming into this, this whole mythology. And they love it too. And I think that that's just a testament to how, um, how deeply these stories kind of, kind of get you right in, the, right in the core. You don't have to know anything about Star Wars because they just speak to your heart. They speak to that, like, that inner like, hero's journey in all of us. Um, and there's something for everyone in them. Discovery. I mean, Mandalorian is discovery. It, it's that unlikely hero who has to do things he doesn't want to do, grows through it, and learns from it. And the fact that you have Grogu, that little mm, that I'm trying to get, uh, a, a, being such an illuminating spirit, um, it's something that we need right now, and it is worth the wait for sure. 
I get so excited for these fans because they get it. They get the journey. They get the mystical journey. They get the story. They get the relationship. And yet they want to make it up in their heads because in the meantime, from last to now, from past to present, they have to you know, keep their excitement going. Well, now's the time. Here we are. Just wait a few more seconds and you'll be seeing it in all of its um, luster and glory. It's fun because uh, when we first started off, the last time we had a big event like this uh, uh, in Hollywood, uh, we were just introducing the show to people. They didn't know what to expect. Uh, everybody was very uh, um, involved with uh, the larger Star Wars universe and the, and the films that were coming out. We were just starting to uh, develop these stories. And now coming back, people know these characters. They've developed relationships with them, expectations. They're curious about what happens. They have a point of view about what should happen. Uh, and we always have to, we want to fulfill expectations, but also surprise people. And this format of having one show every week is so much fun because it's like we get to turn over another card every week and there's a whole new set of discussions and conjectures that happen. But we, we're very fortunate to have a very engaged fan base who cares deeply about these characters. They love dressing up as them, they love collecting them, and they love staying up late at night, some of them, to watch each episode as they drop. And then, uh, and, and so that's, it's, it, you feel like you're part of something much larger. And we're fans first and foremost, and we love the characters. We feel connected with them. I get emotional. I laugh. You know, even though I've seen it, a, a, you know, a hundred times, it really feels exciting. And then, but the best part, of course, is, you know, wrapping up the presents and then watching everybody open them. Like, that's, that's the part we get a kick out of. And as long as people are enjoying what we're doing, we're having a blast doing it. Each one is distinctive and, you know, working with a guy like John Favreau, Dave Filoni, Rick, I mean, they, these guys are truly, like, innovative geniuses. I, mean, I, I don't use that word often, you know, they, they are geniuses and they know this material so, so well that they, uh, they almost make it fun to write music for them because they're so, uh, they challenge you in certain ways, but they also leave, leave things open for collaboration. There were a lot of uh, moments, I, I know I can't say too much um, without giving too much away, but like there are so many amazing moments in this season that, I mean, I, I know my favorite moments for sure to write music uh, for, the, the music that we've ended up recording for, but um, there's some great new characters, there's some new themes, there's a new flavor of the score, it's a, maybe a bit more symphonic and just it's bigger and more robust than previous seasons, which is really fun, almost from like a classical composer's standpoint, maybe a little bit more German, you know, it feels like a little bit more bold in certain areas. Uh, it, but, you know, it's it's still building upon the legacy that Ludwig so beautifully already set up for us, you know, so, um, so yeah, there's so much to take home and be excited about for sure. Yeah, you know, it, this crew and this cast put in so much hard work and we do it all for the fans and for the love of Star Wars and for it to finally be here is magical. This show resonates with so many people all over the world and for so many different reasons. So one of the things that I love about Mandalorian is you can sit down with the biggest Star Wars fan that's seen every single thing Star Wars and a five-year-old and they love the show equally as much for very different reasons and, and that's a special thing. They do, they're definitely gonna get Mando and Grogu, so they have that. But you know, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of what you've you've come to love from the Mandalorian and, and a whole bunch of new things that we hope you love as well. Yeah, you know, I think that what John and Dave have created is something that that brings back that nostalgia and that love that everybody had from the original trilogy of Star Wars and and to to be able to share that with a new generation and and to have it feel iconic in a weird way and and um, is is beautiful and it's just so so special to be involved. There is so much this season and um, so many surprises, so many twists and turns. I just, I can't wait. I feel like the fans themselves can be so creative and they come up with all of these really interesting, like I just saw a fan art that was like unbelievable and um, you just, I don't know, you just see that there's this whole world out there of just people that are uh, amazing and incredibly impressive. It is wilder than anything I've ever imagined and there is this uh, saying of the whole Star Wars family, and you always hear that everywhere you go in different projects, but truly Star Wars, Lucasfilms is a family, Disney is a family, and I'm just very grateful to be a part of it no matter how small. Yeah, I gotta tell you, season one, I had no idea 
how uh, amazing the response was going to be. At my kids' school, everybody's wearing something Mandalorian. And you just kind of smile to yourself that they, how lucky I am to be a part of that. Yeah, the fans are amazing, intelligent. Uh, they keep you honest, right? And uh, the discourse that happens is, is a wonderful thing and it's lovely to be a part of. I'm a fan myself and not being able to see all this stuff, like I can guess and theorize myself, but that's the joy of this, this, this fan base really. It's like the love for Star Wars. And you can, it can be all these different narratives. Stars should be for everybody. And it really, really is when you have shows like this. So yeah, very happy. It's season three, finally. We've been able to bridge season two and season three with the Book of Boba Fett. But um, now that uh, Mando and Grogu are reunited and there are so many more Mandalorians to meet, I can't wait for everyone to experience the ec epic season. My favorite thing about it is that we get to like wait each week for the chapters to arrive. Um, it just makes it more of a collective experience for everybody. And um, it's that thing that, 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 that as kids, you had, to, you had to wait and it makes it all the more better for it, you know? It's amazing for me. I've been a fan of Star Wars since I was 14 years old. So it's like, it's a dream come true in a lot of ways. And I, I'm, I'm also uh, really happy to be involved with this particular season because I feel like it raises the bar of what the show is doing. And, uh, you know, John Favreau and Dave Filoni are just broadening the canvas and doing some amazing things. So it's, it's uh, really going to be special. I think fans are going to love it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's unbelievable uh, the degree to which fans have embraced the show. Uh, they're, I, they're probably growing up with the show the same way that I grew up with the movies. So that, is, that phenomenon is like, it always makes you step back and, and think about the, the importance of these things and the reach of them and you know, what, they, what they say to people. It's a, it's a big deal, you know, telling stories that actually mean something to people. And uh, I think the show is a real prime example of that. Yeah, season three, it's been, uh... It's been a while now since since we've been since we've been back. So I, I'm excited for everyone to see the show. When you start the process, uh, it feels like you're never going to get to this day. So I'm so excited to be here. When we started, we were the first uh, live action series that was Star Wars, and and now it's grown, and there's so many more shows that have followed, including shows that have spun out from this. So um, it's it's all great to see all of the Star Wars is getting made today for the fans and I'm one of the biggest fans so I, I love being out there seeing everything that's getting done and and how they, everyone reacts to it so I, I can't wait to see how the fans react to this one. We're introducing a lot of new characters but they're all steeped in the lore of Star Wars so people will be very familiar with everybody new. I mean the fandom's been there forever. Um, I love watching the cosplayers. I love every level of talent, every level of entry level in you know all the way up to the um, you know pros I enjoy the, the way the people express it's almost like being a child and dressing up like a princess it's it's so wonderful to see them celebrate these costumes and I, I went I'm like oh my gosh you're wearing my costume you know it's like it's amazing <laughs>